Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see how to set the NAT port forwarding on uh, a Cisco ASA. So this is our ASDM. Then uh, just to for make you easy. So the server here is uh, from outside. And the IP is uh, 192.168.1.2 I'm going to reach this web page, the web server here on Windows um, the IP is 192.168.2.2 so let's see how to do it first of all we need to set NAT then uh, it's, uh, it's very easy, very, very fast to do it so in configuration NAT, add uh, NAT object NAT rule, then uh, we call uh, www host 192.168.2.2, description of course if you want to, translator address outside, go and select outside here, so advance it, then uh, source interface, uh, well in my case is outside, but uh, I'm going to say DMZ. So port 80, 80, again, OK, OK, then access rules, here, you see, and they're outside, they have no uh, rules, so right click, add access rule any if any or otherwise you have to specify IP or subnet if you want uh, of course restrict so 192.168.2.2 is here service HTTP then uh, OK and apply you see here uh, on the bottom you can see the direction of the, the um, of this um, access list so from outside to inside for example if I click inside I will see here from inside to outside so save and let's see if it works so I open Linux here my machine 192.168.2.2 Ah oh, no, sorry, it's uh, 192.168.1.1 Let's see if it works It works! It's fine, dot one, dot one, of course, because uh, maybe it's the first time you see so, so uh, What's this one? Because the IP, or my public IP in this case, is here So it's uh, one dot one So the traffic let me take this one the traffic is coming from outside so I mean from internet passing on internet and reach my interface then it's uh, 1 dot 1 then from here is sending the traffic on the my web server my web server respond with the page to my Linux machine and as you saw before, uh, this is Windows, this is Linux. I can open the page. Thank you for watching.